Melanie Garcia. I am from Jojega Muniang, now known as Montreal, the traditional territories of the Kamiyagahaga and the Anishinaabe people. I am an empath artist and today we'll be working on some mixed media collage. Today we'll be working on a scrapbook style mixed media collage. So step one, collecting um, all our items. Step two, planning our layout, organizing our items. Step three, attaching components to the surface. And step four is finishing touches. So some words and a little bit of drawing. All right, so the materials we'll be needing for this, uh, I have a cutting mat. If you're planning on using an X-Acto knife or utility knife, a cutting mat is a good idea. If not, have some cardboard to protect the surface. X-Acto or utility knife, if you're comfortable using those. Uh, personally, I love scissors. Scissors are my preferred choice. So I have this big guy for cutting thicker pieces, this little guy for like uh, fine tuning. And my absolute favorite is this um, all purpose school scissor. It's, it's like perfect for me. I use it for everything. Um, gluing things. So I have stick glue. This is all you need. Otherwise, if you have tape, tape is cool because uh, there's clear tape, thick and thin, or an electrical tape if you want it to be more decorative or like a different texture. And what are we gluing onto? Sometimes I work in my sketchbook or otherwise any paper will do printer paper, line paper. And today I have some construction paper. So that's what I'll be using. Drawing materials. So we got some markers, some pens, pencil, pencil, crayon, pastel, out. Um, what is this? I don't know, a super thin Sharpie. So whatever you've got, like it's great. Just anything to scribble, scrabble, draw, write with. So preparing your workspace. Um, I like working uh, at this desk or at a kitchen table, somewhere where you can spread out your materials and everything is at hand. Also safety tip, if you are working with an X-Acto or um, a utility knife, again, always keep the cap on when it's not in use and the blade retracted when um, you're not using the tools. What's going in this collage? Well, a great place to start is looking around the house to see what we can destroy, to create, but responsibly. Any kind of 2D material flat that can be glued down. So I went through my recycling and found a couple things. Uh, there's this envelope, some silver foil, this pita bread bag, um, black tissue paper, and a couple magazines that have loads of pictures inside. You know what though? Maybe we need to have a little bit of the outdoors in this. Let's go outside. Okay, so we're outside. Um, I'm in this little patch of nature, not too far um, from my house. I brought uh, some scissors with me and I'm just gonna look at my feet and see what we got. We have this little beautiful leafy thing. Snip, thank you. This is super beautiful. I like you, thank you so much. And Snip, I'm gonna grab some of these guys. What we've got that's pretty easy let's take these inside and add them to our collage okay awesome so we've cut out um our objects from the magazines and as you can see i've cut really close to the edges of these this plant um if you're not comfortable with cutting this close do feel free to like make bigger chunks around it, but I would advise against like squares, um, like cutting squares if it's an animal in a box, you know, try to cut as close as possible to your edges just so you can have a nice blending of your objects. So these were chosen for their colors and their text, their shape. I'm, I think this orange is beautiful. So we're gonna like just play around, like try to find a composition and when you're doing this, like trust your gut, go with your intuition. Like collage is really about serendipity, which means like letting things happen as we push things around. 
So with that being said, let's let's get to it. Um, I think I'm really happy with this. I was playing with so many things. I tried this flowery thing. I tried some this silvery. Oh, that looks cool, but I don't want it anymore. Uh, this I tried. So it's really trying stuff out. Um, so what I went with, I liked this envelope. I love this little orange, and this is from a tea bag. That orange. So there's like a color cohesion a color palette happening here and we're going to get to the glue what do we need we need our glue stick and then i think i'm going to tape this down instead of gluing it because i want this to flap around and we'll put a little tape on there Final touches. Da -da 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 -da. What's next? We're gonna add some words to this. So this is where your pastel, your pen, your pencil, your markers, your pencil crayons, whatever you got, this is where it comes in. Um, we're gonna look for inspiration of what kind of words to write on this. So I'm looking at this, the shape of this leaf, it's or this plant it looks windblown so I like the idea of this movement being windblown and it looks like this person has pens so maybe I'll put the word windblown here and then I was just looking at the cover I just glanced over the cover of the magazine and it says we are not alone and I was like okay I was like okay windblown but not alone I was like I'm feeling that this feels a little hopeful and kind of positive um, but other inspiration can be from song lyrics um, of your of a favorite tune. Um, if you if you're into journaling or writing poetry, I would pull from those as well, or any kind of feelings that came up um, while making the collage. If you wanted to jot that down, um, by all means, uh, express yourself. So I'm just grabbing. Uh, this is a charcoal pencil. It's super old. Um, and I'm gonna write the wind blown here. So here we go. Woo! Don't make a mis don't make a spelling mistake. Okay. Uh, <laughs> awesome. Uh, I don't know why it's not. I think there's glue there. That's why it didn't come out super perfect. But and actually, I kind of like this. Dot 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 gonna go for it dot 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 yes if you feel like writing way more like like a journal page or or like any any kind of big text if you have a whole poem like guys go for it and I think I want to add like a little color I'm not much of a drawer I, I scribble a lot but if you wanted if you're like inspired by whatever object you've glued down and if I could draw, I'd be like, yeah, I'm gonna draw more flowers, awesome. But actually, I just really like scribbling colors. So I'm going to just go for it. It, it still makes me nervous, so here we go. Okay. Woo! Uh, okay, okay, sure. Here we go. Guys, this is live. This is unmeditated. <laughs> Oh, so I'm not super stoked with that, but we're gonna we're gonna fix it with more marker. But uh, why not? So I got a gray one here. Um, here, here we go. Just 
just a little bit. Yeah, okay, that's it, guys. Bam. Okay, so that's it. That's my finishing touch for that. Um, maybe I might smear a little bit of, of this uh, pencil over here, but we're, we're done with that version. Bonus material, uh, guys, you can see that we've changed a little bit. I'm cheating by covering up uh, what you just saw, just so I can in introduce a different uh, finishing touch. So we had wind blown, but not alone in a pencil, and I'm gonna do it in a pen now. I'm gonna change the position. Wind blown, but not alone. So we've got that there, that's in a pen. I kind of like the way it follows the shape. And I wanted to add a little more scribbly scrabbly things because that's what I do. So this is uh, oil pastel. We're just gonna go like that, kind of looks like a tea bag bit. I'm feeling that. Maybe a little bit of the past, like a black oil pastel. Bam the end. There's another variation just with different materials. So that's Mixed Media Collage. Subscribe and check out more tutorials on the YouTube InPath channel. Thanks so much. Hope you enjoyed this project.